Hi, welcome to video tutorial number 22A, more text with the LCD. Well, we had an extremely exciting and intense patcher going on there with the LCD and we had learned to type in it. I just wanted to point out to people I didn't know the last time around how to decide what um, what uh, fonts to put in this selection thing because I didn't know which ones were available but now I figured out how to do it when that is I'm just gonna show you real quick whoops up here up here just go to max preferences and look default font Arial and just push show fonts if it's in here you can use it so I just sat here and um, then I went uh, since this thing keeps floating here, I unlock the patcher, I selected this, hit the inspector, came down here, and edited Arial. I spelled it wrong for crying out loud. It's A E A R I A L. And then if we wanted to uh, put some uh, Ayutthaya in there, for example, um, you could I you say yeah whoops Come. Um, I like automat because it's so uh, computer-esque we'll put that in there and um, Baghdad sure why not And we'll see how they work and we can put that away and now whoops when we lock this thing up we can go to Baghdad we can clear our our LCD let's scroll right in here and see what it looks like B A G D A D Baghdad is not a very exciting font I thought it was going to be awesome what else do we got? Let's make it bigger so it's more awesome. How about Ayathaya, which I have no idea what it is. Ayathaya. Different, different. Um, anyway, so good. Any ones that you want? Oh, an automat, of course. For automat, I'm just going to clear the whole thing and just go with it. Robot robot nice I love automat okay very good so now we have our fonts under control and one of the things I noticed is that I got really tired of always having to um, click a new spot for this thing to go when what I really wanted to do is just return and make all the other words go up well there's a way to do that so we can just start doing it um, a quick cheat so that we can figure out how to do it is that we type a message up here and go in the right hand inlet and then we hit the return key and we see that we get key number 13 so that's very helpful now we can just get rid of this stupid thing and type in here an N for a new object and select 13 yes please select 13 and so what's gonna happen when we do select 13 well what we want to happen is a couple things and we can just start piggybacking on this move to 4040 um, message here let's change it the first thing as soon as we hit the select button is that we want to to scroll a rectangle and we want it to start at zero zero whoops sorry zero space zero 
goodness, I'm having trouble with this, zero, and go to numbers that we don't know yet. So we're going to call them string one and string two. And then we have to decide how far we want it to move in the x, y direction. Well, we don't want it to move in x direction at all, so we're going to put zero. And then in the y direction, we're going to make it string three. And then after that, we want it to move to, oops, I'm losing my, my message ability here to see what's going on. Move to 4040. Is that really where I want to move to? No. I want to move to about 20 pixels away from the left hand side and about halfway down. So I'm going to say more like 20. Um, 60. Oops, not 600. And then do nothing. So that's what I want to happen when I hit this and it will send out a bang and we'll hook that up real nicely there. Now, that seems easy enough, but of course we have to supply these numbers. So as we do in many cases, um, we want to um, put in a new object that is called the uh, pack, zero space zero space zero. So that's going to put in string one, string two, and string three as soon as we figure out what they are. And what we um, want to be able to, we'll get back to that pack thing. Um, we also want to get the pen location and get the size. So the first thing that we want to do is, um, let's see, this thing's, every time this thing, we want it to, we want to send a bang from this to these every time it's not a 13, because when it is a 13, then we don't need to get the size or the pen location, because we don't care. So, um, Let's type a B just to make sure that we actually get a, a bang situation. And we'll hit get size and get location. Get pen location. Okay, so now every time we type, it's going to get the size of the LCD and then it's going to get the pen location and it's going to output them down here. Now, knowing these numbers will be great because they're going to have something to do with these string numbers up here. If we know that the size. Um, we want to scroll a rectangle that's at the same size as the LCD. So we want string one and string two to be the um, sizes of uh, the size of these uh, the, the, of the what you call it the LCD. That's all I wanted to say. So um, <clears throat> let's. The only thing is that we don't want to fire this when we put those numbers in all the time. We want to wait until um, uh, key 13 decides to do that. So we could do this a couple of different ways. One, we could just put um, messages here. This is one way to do it. And uh, perhaps you'll enjoy this system and get to use it later. I can think of a number of interesting systems for doing this. 
Okay, so now whenever our numbers, let's see, what, what are we trying to do here, right? So we want the, this is going to be the x of the lower right corner. That would be this number. And what I'm going to do, whoops, that's a little crooked looking, is run it in the right hand inlet and then do the same thing with the Y. And that is the rectangle that we're going to scroll. How far we're going to scroll it has to do with how big the type font is. So we'll just take the type font out of here and go on over here. And then we put a really cool device in here. Type the letter N, if you will. Type T for trigger. And just type bang B space B space B. And what trigger does is it sends out in order from right to left a bang. So it'll bang this number in, then it'll bang this number in, and then it will bang this number in. As soon as it receives a bang from the... I don't think I need this one here. I think I need this one up here on the trigger. For those of you who were not watching that slick little move, um, I had initially put the select 13 um, running directly to this message for scrolling, but then I realized that what I really want to do is pack it with these numbers and then trigger it. So uh, let's lock up our patcher here and see how all of this is working. Uh, I'm going to clear it just so we can take a look at it. And I'm going to put my cursor here and say, hello. Whoops. <laughs> I can't erase. Class. Have. Oh, I forgot to hit uh, return. It returned, but it didn't scroll. Well, it could be worse. Hello. There's that, this is me hitting the return button. <laughs> I see. I'm going to hit return button again. And again. So it always goes to, oh, move to 2060. So it scrolls the rectangle, but it doesn't scroll the rectangle because the rectangle, oh, because there's no number there. Sorry. That's what's wrong with this picture. The, uh, there we go. Let's try that again. Re uh, we'll clear it. Here we go. Hello. Return. My name is John. Return. Okay, so um, that is incredibly exciting as you, you know, um, if you like typing backwards, if you need your, if you need to type credits the way they're going to roll, this is definitely the system for you. If your credits roll downward, most people's roll upward, don't they? So what our problem is is that I've associated the how far this scroll rectangle here is like x y top corner, x y bottom corner how far X is going to move in pixels, how far Y is going to move in pixels, and then this is where the cursor is going to go. It moves 18 um, pixels down um, the rectangle, which it, we actually want it to move 18 pixels up. So what we have to do is multiply by a negative number before, before this goes into this 18, and that's easy enough. Let's just unlock this and make a new object and type times 
negative 1. It didn't seem to have any space either. Let's make it negative 1.1. 1. 1. And uh, we'll just take this line, put it there on the right hand side, and then put this back into the, excuse me, the left hand side, and put this back into the right hand side there. Okay. And we'll send it another number. And let's zoom out here and clear our deck and just see how awesome this is. Is it awesome? It is. Oh dear. I guess. It depends. Yeah, so it depends on where you start. I started down too low. So here we go. Actually, you could always just hit this first. That's the real the real way to start. And then you can just start typing. Golly. Why did... Oh. Golly. Why did I not think of that? Now, many of you are probably already thinking that if I can hit the carriage return button and have this do that, that you could somehow check out these numbers down here and have it automatically do that and you would be absolutely correct however that is what I consider geeking out and it's not going to be part of this uh, tutorial so um, let's uh, there we go a nice green and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it people Wow, that was just crazy. How did it go? Why did it go up there? What did I do? What did I do wrong? Goodbye. Cruel world. Oh, that is cruel, isn't it? All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching my typing tutorial, and I will see you next time.